What's going on everyone? This is Brandon from Geek Kings and I just wanted uh, to do a little video on my 2009 little baby right here, my MacBook Pro from 2009. Um, this was purchased for let's just you know say under under 500 which is not bad for this. Um, this is obviously um, like I said a 2009 MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, my brother bought it, I bought it off him so I know it was taken uh, good care of. Um, this originally came with the Intel Core 2 Duo, 2.26 gigahertz dual core, obviously, uh, and only two gigabytes of RAM and a 5400 RPM, 120 gigabyte drive. Now, what I did is I, you know, hopped on Amazon, and I forget the exact amount, but I think it was around. It, w it was under $100 because I remember I got a gift card for Christmas or something like that for Amazon for about $100. And I used that money to purchase uh, a 4 gigabyte stick um, of RAM because this thing can go up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. And if you wanted to know what your particular model and uh, uh, what your particular model of MacBook uh, can handle just go on OWC.com and look up your serial number or uh, it's like MacBook 5.1 or 5 whatever just look up your specific MacBook Pro model and it'll tell you what you can max it out to this particular one you can max it out to 8 gigabytes of RAM and the hard drive you can throw in whatever you know gigabyte hard drive you want terabyte two terabytes four terabytes the that gets pretty crazy in price though. And you don't really need it for this. So this particular one, like I said, it came with two gigabytes of RAM and a 5400 RPM hard drive. So um, what I did is I went on Amazon and I picked this thing up. This is a Kingston SSD now. Um, it's 120 gigabytes, so it's the same as the original hard drive that came with the machine, except this uh basically triples the speed of the uh of of the of the hard drive um obviously because it's a solid state drive um so got picked this up and then what I did is I got a uh I believe it's a crucial uh 4 gigabyte stick in there there's two slots it had a gigabyte in each threw in the 4 gigabytes left the 1 gigabyte in there so now I have 5 gigabytes of ram in here and 128 solid state drive um excuse me 120 gigabyte solid state drive now what you're gonna need um as far as replacing a hard drive on an, an older machine like this is you are gonna need a copy of mac os 10 snow leopard they don't sell leopard anymore just snow leopard i i uh, called apple gave them my serial number and they sent this to me with shipping and everything it was actually free two-day shipping uh, for $21, which is not bad. I mean, this is an essential disc. I mean, I know we don't really use discs anymore to, to you know, um, upgrade our computers or, or, or do anything on our, our, our OSs anymore. But this is a good thing for me to have because I, I do own this computer and I could sell this with this computer. Now I'm stumbling over my words. Anyway, so you're going to need this. If you get a new hard drive and I just wanted to demonstrate here how freaking powerful this thing is now um, maybe maybe powerful is not the right word I would just say speedy it's very very speedy and smooth um, and so let's let's just get it done here so I'm gonna power it up and you'll just see that within a couple seconds here boom and it's on that was literally like 12 seconds from the time I pressed the button 12 seconds it powered on and this is from 2009 it is just snappy it shuts down just like that let's power it up just good for, for good measure one more time I'm sure it'll power up even faster now. You see the Apple logo for like four seconds and then boom, we're in. It's just, it's amazing to me how quick it boots. 
I, I, I used to have to wait maybe like a minute, minute and 10 seconds for this thing to boot, which is still not bad, but just look at, you know, the, the, the spots where I'm really going to see the performance boost with the RAM and especially the SSD is things like launching applications, um, and also things like maybe moving files from one folder to another if they're massive, uh, installing, uninstalling, uh, which doesn't take long anyway on this thing. But I'm just trying to demonstrate how good of an upgrade you can do to a MacBook Pro 2009. You can even do this to 2010, 2011. 2012 is where they started making it uh, harder to open this thing up. Um... Honestly, all I did uh, was just undo a couple of screws on the bottom. These screws that you see right here. I just had to undo those screws. And then under here, uh, the hard drive is somewhere over here. The battery is like over here. Down there is the logic board. And that's why it gets hot on these MacBook Pros. Because the logic board is down there with the fan. Yeah, um... It's just, it's amazing to me. And I just had to make this video. Just see, look at that. Instant on. It's amazing. Anyway, just want to show you guys what I did to my MacBook Pro 13 inch to make it so fast. And you guys can do the same. And it's around $120. And that's with Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard. So $100 for the parts, $20 for this. And you're ready, set to go. Um, so maybe... Maybe five fifty six hundred and all for a very solid machine uh, Mac laptop. You don't gotta go out and spend thousands of dollars on these things, seriously. And Yosemite ain't that great, honestly. My favorite version of OS X is Snow Leopard. This is probably my favorite operating system of all time, though. I'll, I will say that Mac OS X Snow Leopard is my favorite operating system of all time fuck yosemite it's all about snow leopard all right and you guys could bash me in the comments but anyway i'm signing off peace gotta go to work let me go edit this video and i'll see you guys later in my next video peace